Hey Deckers, Wanted Dead is finally here. Huge thanks to 110 Industries for giving us a key so we could check this one out early and get a video up for you. This is a very interesting hybrid slasher and shooter where you have two weapons as well as a hefty sword. Now, bullets are extremely limited in this so you're going to have to get used to your melee abilities pretty quickly and I will admit the learning curve is pretty steep on this one. And as you saw there, some of the melee enemies actually have huge amounts of body armor. There's also some very crazy weapons and censoring that you wouldn't expect. So do expect some tongue in cheek in this one. Even the startup menu is quite funky with lots of stuff to look at. Graphics wise though, this is a hefty draw on the Steam Deck. So you're gonna wanna put pretty much everything to low with the draw distance at medium. Keep V-Sync on, TAA on low with the upscaling on FSR and medium. FPS cap in game of 60, but then on the Steam Deck, you want to have it capped at 40 hertz and 40 frames per second. And for the most part, you will get a pretty flat frame time graph, but you do still get a few spikes here and there, especially in some of the loading sections. Outside of the main game, you also have these funky mini games. There's obviously quite a few to unlock, but in the shooting range, there are three modes. So if you want to get used to your aiming abilities or you want to start practicing with things like the gyro, then there's some great aspects to try out there. So as you can see, as we come back into the main game, as I ran into this room, FPS did drop down into the 20s temporarily. So you will get those few loading spikes here and there, but actually running at the 40 frames per second, a lot of this runs extremely smoothly and looks absolutely fantastic as well on the Steam Deck. As I said, you're going to have to really get used to those melee abilities because bullets don't last very long and a lot of people also charge at you. So you need to be able to get into those melee abilities and make sure you get the nice takedowns as well because it just looks awesome doing the executions. Now the learning curve of the game is also quite difficult, but there's a huge amount of skills that you can unlock. So you will have a hard time in the early stages of this game, but once you've unlocked several of those abilities, then you will have a much easier time and you'll feel much better in the combat as well, as it does feel like you are very limited on the abilities and the maneuvers early on in the game. I really have enjoyed my time with Wanted Dead, but the £50 price tag might be a bit hard to swallow for some. With a gameplay of around 7-10 to 10 hours, I don't expect a lot of people are going to want to pay £50 for this, but it is worth it if you dive in. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay without me talking, so you can get a better feel for the gameplay and performance. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video.